Saved by the Bell is a beloved sitcom that captured the hearts of viewers in the late 80s and early 90s. Set at Bayside High School, the show followed a group of teens navigating the ups and downs of adolescence. While the show is known for its lighthearted humor and positive messages, occasional bloopers and errors added a touch of spontaneity and behind-the-scenes charm. In this video, we're taking you through some of the things that didn't really make sense in the show. We'll also go over some fun facts you might not know about. Let's dive in. Screech and Zack's Friendship If you've always wondered why Screech bothered to stay friends with Zack, you're not alone. It was a weird dynamic. Screech, played by Dustin Diamond, was depicted as a nerdy, socially awkward student, while Zack, played by Mark Paul Gossler, was the charismatic, popular leader of the group. Despite their seemingly contrasting personalities, Screech and Zack shared a close friendship that endured throughout the series. While Screech's character often faced ridicule and social challenges, Zack was his loyal friend and often stood up for him. And yet, Zack was also kind of Screech's bully. Many of Zack's zany plans resulted in emotional harm or even physical harm to Screech. That ranged from giving him literal diseases and breaking his stuff to literally losing his dog in a bet. The argument could be made they were friends from way back and the bond was just too strong to break. And then there's also the fact that Screech helped Zack academically while Zack helped him socially. But it doesn't really seem like it would have been worth it for Screech in the end. Wanted Zack Morris Zack's behavior wasn't limited towards Screech either. He often finds himself entangled in various shenanigans and questionable activities that could be deemed as criminal. Despite his endearing personality and ability to charm his way out of trouble, Zack's actions raise ethical and legal concerns throughout the show. One notable example of Zack engaging in potentially criminal behavior is his penchant for manipulating situations and scheming to achieve his desired outcomes. From hacking into the school's computer system to alter grades, to forging signatures or creating elaborate plans to deceive authority figures, Zack often crosses the line into morally ambiguous territory. Additionally, he frequently involves his friends in his escapades, drawing them into situations that may have legal consequences. While Saved by the Bell portrays his actions in a lighthearted and comedic manner, in real life, Zack probably would have ended up in the slammer for at least some of his actions. Kelly and Jesse Who? Towards the end of its original run, Saved by the Bell underwent some significant changes as two of its original cast members, Tiffany Thiessen and Elizabeth Berkley, chose not to renew their contracts. Their departures created a need for new characters to fill the void for the final season. As a result, Tori Scott, played by actress Leanna Creel, was introduced. Tiffany Thiessen's decision not to continue was driven by her desire to, to pursue new acting opportunities and expand her career beyond the sitcom. She transitioned to other projects, including notable roles in Beverly Hills 90210 and later White Collar. Elizabeth Berkley left to explore new horizons and pursue a more adult-oriented career. Her departure was followed by her highly controversial and daring role in Showgirls. In an effort to fill the void left by Thiessen and Berkeley, the producers introduced the character Tori Scott. She was depicted as a tough, independent, and somewhat rebellious student who quickly integrated into the core group of friends. Leanna Creel, who portrayed Tori, brought a fresh dynamic to the show. Perhaps the weirdest parts, though, of the switcheroo was that Tori completely fit in with the group without any issues, and that no one really mentioned the fact that two of their best friends were suddenly gone. Driver's Ed on the Links In the episode Driver's Education, the characters tackle the subject of, you guessed it, driver's education. However, the twist comes when the students find themselves learning to drive in an unexpected vehicle, a golf cart. This unconventional approach to Driver's Ed adds a comedic element to the episode and offers a light-hearted take on the realities of obtaining a driver's license, except for the fact that it makes little sense. The setup was there wasn't enough money in the budget to teach the students in real cars, so they resorted to golf carts. First off, there's the issue of the reality of having Driver's Ed taught in school. We don't know where you went to school, but where we grew up, that kind of thing was definitely an extracurricular. And if you've ever driven a golf cart, you know that it works very little like a real car. You can be a whiz at zipping around the links in a cart and still know very little about driving. The Robot At one point, Screech introduces a unique addition to the community, a robot named Kevin. Screech's creation adds a touch of science fiction and technological marvel to the show, as the quirky and lovable character becomes the proud owner and caretaker of his robotic companion. But this wasn't some robot that looked cool but did nothing. 
He had a wide range of capabilities, including complex calculations, extensive knowledge, and even the ability to mimic human behavior. Throughout the series, Kevin was often a source of comedic relief, with his literal interpretation of language and socially awkward interactions. But the real thing we seemed to gloss over was how ahead of the times Kevin was. If Screech really did build a robot as advanced as Kevin, it meant he was a next-level genius who should have long since left and been founding iRobot or working at NASA. Instead, the show's creative staff went the other way and got rid of Kevin pretty unceremoniously. Fun Facts now let's get into some fun facts about the show you might not know. Originally titled Good Morning Miss Bliss, Saved by the Bell began as a Disney Channel series that aired from 1988 to 89 before being retooled into the popular show we know today. The iconic theme song, Saved by the Bell, was performed by Scott Gale and written by Michael Damien, better known for his role as Danny Ramalotti on the soap opera The Young and the Restless. The show's fictional high school, Bayside High, was named after the real-life Bayside High School in Bayside, Queens, New York. Mark Paul Gossler, who played Zack, dyed his hair blonde for the role and continued to do so throughout the show's run. Dustin Diamond, who played Screech, was actually younger than his co-stars as he had skipped a few grades in school. Tiffany Thiessen was originally credited as Tiffany Amber Thiessen in the show's early seasons, but dropped the amber midway through. Several notable guest stars appeared on the show, including Leia Remini, Denise Richards, Tori Spelling, and Scott Wolf. Saved by the Bell has spawned numerous spin-offs and adaptations, including Saved by the Bell The College Years, Saved by the Bell The New Class, and the recent reboot Saved by the Bell 2020. That featured some of the original cast members reprising their roles as adults. The original plan was to have Zack and Slater be bitter rivals who would constantly seek Kelly's affection while being miserable to each other. But the creative staff discovered something as the show came together. Mario Lopez and Mark Paul Gossler got along incredibly well in real life, so they completely changed the characters, making them best friends. The two not only stayed that way throughout the show, but the actors remained super close in real life. Mark Paul may have had a long-term romance with Kelly, but in real life, he dated Lark Voorhees, a.k.a. Lisa Turtle. They apparently dated for about three years in total. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know about any of this info from the show? Let us know in the comments section below.